there is a real problem of people stealing unemployment benefits not meant for them. The problem got so big that Colorado Department of Labor and Employment had to create a new system to catch the fraud. But trying to stop one problem created another. It has been very, very hard. Their system flagged people like Ricky Martin, a Coloradan who that. says she lost her job as a but travel agent. I'm willing to drive to any state office, be fingerprinted, photographed, be treated like a criminal just to verify my identity. Ricky says she verified her identity through ID me, but the hold is still there. A CDLE spokesperson said in an email, these situations need to be manually investigated to further verify the integrity of the claim. This takes time, but we continue to increase the staffing of our investigations unit. It's been more than three months for Ricky. She says she's wiped out her savings and her daughter is supporting the family. Frustrating is a very polite way of describing how I feel and the effect that it's had on my family. Um, desperate is probably a, a better word for it. Um, to know that I've worked in this state for 30 years without asking for a dime, paid into the unemployment system, and then to be let down like this, yeah, it makes me incredibly angry. CDLE says they have prevented billions from being paid out to fraudsters, but there are still people like Ricky, people who say they got caught up in a solution that doesn't fix their problem. Katie Eastman, Nine News. And CDLE says they can't answer how many integrity holds need to be investigated or how many investigators they need to hire, as many of them have crossover roles within the department. Out of the more than 1.2 million people they have asked to verify identities through ID.me, they say just under 150,000 have done so.